Hi everyone, Greg Setson here with a brand new Ektika Jetbook Color. Now this is the world's first and only color e-ink device and the safest for prolonged reading. This is also the first to be solely dedicated to education. This means students and teachers can load their own content, textbooks, homework and tests to the device instantly. It can also be used as a notepad where you can write anywhere on the device even within the textbooks themselves. It's also compatible with OverDrive, so you can go to the library, hook it up, and download books that way as well. Now let's take a look at some of the features and functions of the device. Here we have the main screen. It's a 9.7 inch color e-ink. It's super thin and it's lightweight. There's five main buttons that you want to look at. Over here at the bottom, we have the scrolling left and right button, the menu key, the OK enter key, return and up and down. You can use the left and right and up and down arrows on the menu or in books to switch pages. Primarily we'll be using the stylus. The stylus is located right at the top of the device. We take it out and now we can select anywhere we want to go. Another way would be using the arrow keys and pressing the enter button. Let's take a look at the my library section. This is where all your books will be located, from recent readings to favorites. Here we also have the AMSCO school textbooks that we provide to everyone who purchases a Jetbook Color. You can also buy the full books from the site directly that's linked on the color. So as soon as you get to a certain page, you'll click the Buy Now button and it'll download the full textbook onto the device. Now, there's one out of four pages of textbooks. That means you have four full pages of textbooks. Now you can double tap at the bottom to go to the next page, single tap to go up. You'll see the arrow key right on the right hand side, single tap to go down, and then single tap again to go to the next page. Now when you want to go into a book, you simply just click on the book itself. It'll have the loading screen right in the center and then it'll access the book. You can click the left and right arrow keys to go from page to page. Here we'll have the beginning of a book. Now it'll go through the chapters, you can have the table of contents and anything else. The 9.7 inch screen actually allows it to be very similar to a textbook page. But here you can double tap on the right side of the screen and now we can e jump to pages we can go to the table of contents bookmark a page access further pages let's say 23 and jump right to it click the center of the screen to access out of the menu and now I'll show you some of the cool features that we have. We can click the menu key right at the bottom. Here you can also jump pages by going to page number, go into the table of contents, search the text by typing in any word or phrase, go into your bookmarks, stylus mode, change zoom, adjust reflow, change the book language, use TTS to speak the book, access the full screen mode of the book, and a help section. I'll show you the coolest feature, which is stylus mode. Here we have text selection mode and drawing mode. I'll show you text selection mode first. We'll just access out of the screen by tapping on the screen itself. Here you can highlight anything, pull up the menu, and now you can have that explained with the Oxford Dictionary translated to Spanish or any other language. You can have it listen, which makes it pronounced out loud fluently in text-to-speech. I'll show you in another book. And then mark it for summary. The mark for summary actually access it into another menu, so you can actually refer to it back when you need it. Let's say, kind of, we need this section for next week's test. We marked it, so now when we go, to the summary section by pressing the menu key again. 
it'll show us where it's located, what page, and the phrase that we highlighted. Going back to the menu and the stylus mode, I'll show you the drawing mode. The drawing mode allows you to draw in between any text on any textbook or workbook or test or homework or anything that's on the device. This pops up meaning that it'll save it. So let's say we need to remember this for the test. We need to underline this. We need to make sure this is studied and everything else. Kind of we can we can draw stars if we'd like. It'll save it and now it'll be there forever. You can then erase it or do anything you want with the text itself. Now this completely eliminates the fact of defacing textbooks. Since it's an e-format, it just you just click erase and it'll go right out the window. Another cool feature that we've added and included in the books are the 50 state reading list. Now here you'll find about 70 of the most popular books across the US used in schools now. So let's take a look. Here we have Arthur Conan Doyle's The Sign of the Four. So we'll just click it and go right into it. We can press the next page to get there. And then you'll see it's almost like a real book. The screen is white and the text is thick black. You can adjust the font sizes. Same thing, stylus mode, bookmarks, text search, as I showed you in the PDF before. And now I'll show you what's really cool is the speaking feature, TTS. Suppose that its influence is physically a bad one. I find it, however, so transcendently stimulating and clarifying to the mind that its secondary action is a matter of small moment. Just click the return key to end it. You'll see it'll highlight the text and then read it to you step by step. Now unless you stop it, it can actually read an entire book for you. Now let's go back into the main menu. Just as a note, you can actually load almost virtually any book format to the device, ranging from PDF, FB2, TXT, anything. You can then draw, edit it on the device, and then keep it there for as long as you need to. Now, recent readings is pretty straightforward. Classwork and homework is a locked section that's only oriented towards education, so it'll be unlocked for whatever your school's purpose might be. Now, in this section, kind of we'll have a few of the most coolest features that we can find. The Oxford English Dictionary and the Oxford English Spanish Dictionary are two features that kind of are the most commonly used. It's almost like having an entire full dictionary at the palm of your hand. Now next we have the SAT preparation course. This is really cool because you can actually increase your overall SAT score by using this device. We have simple sections like words, critical reading, sentence completion, writing grammar, writing vocabulary, math problem solving, and essay hints. Each of these are an exam in itself. So you start testing and go through it. It'll track your progress, see your statistics, and then help you to get a better score. There are three sections that are actually really cool, all right here. It's the English grammar in English, Spanish grammar in English, and English grammar in Spanish. Each one of these will give you insight as to the basics of grammar in that language. It'll have different units and different categories, ranging from gender of nouns to subject pronouns and everything else. There's also an irregular verbs and idioms section, which you can access by clicking. And then you could have it all pronounced by pressing the menu key and saying, after all. Or you can have it say the translation. Al fin y al cabo, después de todo. Everything is fluent. Another great feature in this section is the English Spanish Text Translator. Here you can input anything in English, and I mean anything, or anything in Spanish, and translate it. Let's take a look. Here it's set to Spanish English. So you can type in Spanish and get a translation by clicking the Enter key. Or you can switch it by pressing the Menu key, change direction, and now you can type in English and have it translated to Spanish. 
Going back into the main menu, we'll see that the next section is language and games. Now here are some of our awesome patented technology that we have towards language learning and language translation. Accessing the menu, you'll see that we have our phonetic language teacher and our ULEARN. Now for anyone looking to learn a language, our phonetic language teacher and ULEARN are the best way to go. Here I'll show you a quick sneak peek at how it works. You select the language to learn. If it's English, it'll have the entire course in Spanish or the language that you've selected. If it's Spanish, you'll have the entire course in English or the language you selected. After that, you'll go through alphabet, words, phrases, and dialogues. Everything is fluent, everything tests your pronunciation, and shows you how to pronounce it fluently. The next section is the audio phrasebook. Here you can test your pronunciation by saying it into the unit, or you can actually hear how it's supposed to be pronounced fluently. You'll select the category, and then you can press Thank you. Gracias. the speaker button to have it pronounced. Now there are 14,000 phrases here, so it's literally endless. We have a picture dictionary and a universal translator. The picture dictionary will be a dictionary that you can translate to between languages and with pictures associated with words to help you remember easier. The universal translator is actually really cool because it has 180 languages that you can translate through. So basically, you select the language and translate between them. You can have anything from, from Dakota to Dutch, from English to Czech, and basically any 180 languages that you might find. We have a few games that will actually help with language learning, including Vocabulary Builder, Linguistic Crosswords, Linguistic Flashcards, Sudoku, Spell It Right Translation Test, Pockets, and even Learning Settings. Now, in the Science and Math section, this is where things get a little more interesting. These are textbooks, huge textbooks, thousand page reference guides that you can actually use in any of your classrooms. Let's take a look. We have three different kinds of calculators, a graphing calculator, scientific, and accounting. This is how it looks. You can enter functions, you can enter formulas, anything, and it'll graph it for you. You have geography references, math references, chemistry references, physics, earth science, and even biology. You can select from submenus exactly which kind of chemistry you need or which kind of earth science you need, and it'll take you to full-length books. We even have a new periodic table of elements. It's fully interactive. You just turn the screen, select an element, and it'll tell you everything about it, ranging from its name, its color, to even the person who discovered it. We even have a metric converter. You can convert any units, let's see temperature, even Celsius to Fahrenheit, or length from centimeters to feet, and everything else in between. Now the music notes and objects of art are some really cool features that we've included ourselves. Objects of art are the most popular pictures that we found online and we decided to include them on the device just to show the color contrast. The musical notes section is where we have famous composers and their work. So let's take Beethoven's Fertilis. You'll find all the notes here. You can increase their font size, or you can just place it in front of you and play it on the piano. Now, the last section is the audiobooks and music. Here, you can load any audiobook that you might have in class. You can even record anything that's going on in class, as in your teacher's speeches, or make voice notes for yourself. I'll just show you how it looks. There are two speakers at the bottom. So, it has almost like a surround sound image to it. And you'll also have a headphone jack. Now, what I didn't mention in the beginning was that it additionally has a microphone and a compartment where you can actually 
insert USB, mini USB, and a micro SD card. It's expandable up to 32 gigabytes and 4 gigabytes of internal memory, so you can have basically 36 gigabytes of information on the device. Now, the mini USB is primarily used for charging, and the USB you can actually plug in a flash drive and have your information show up. Same with the micro SD card. Now, this is the main menu on how the audiobooks and music looks. You just press play or select any song and it'll go to it. And finally, the settings menu is where you can select everything from language to an auto page turn feature. Here, you'll see we have a few languages pre-programmed. We have even more available every month through free updates. Here we have English, Russian, Ukrainian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, and Japanese. We can actually change the language of the entire device this way. You can additionally set the date and time, the volume, fonts, auto power, audio introduction. You can access device info, the network for establishing a Wi-Fi connection, restore the device to defaults, and deauthorize the device, which we actually don't recommend. And that's the Jepo Color. It's available in black or white, and it's perfect for any classroom. For more information, head over to www.ectica.com or www.jetbookcolor.com for more information. And thanks again for watching.